He's walking it like it's something major. It's gay. It is nice. You didn't grunt. <laughs> what do you have, Mark? Pins? Yeah. Don't be using all my pins for the shop. Come on, man. <laughs> Fishing for stuff you can't eat. The bite is so subtle. I mean, it's like barely. I ain't even lost a shrimp. Much less subtle bite. If I was losing shrimp, I'd go, hey, I'm just not feeling it. Folks, we're out here in uh, prefrontal conditions, hoping that this bite's going to go off. And uh, we're going to see what happens. But my first fish in the in the boat was a hogfish that was just short, and that porgy. Tony caught that nice gag. He caught two small gags. Chad hasn't caught a darn a thing. Bump. He lost one on a slack on the slacker. If it was a remora, I wouldn't have lost. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's moving into Chad's spot. Oh, he's gonna get his. <laughs> minutes, but get this nice hogfish right here. Chad, you have watched the underwater video, right? You see the fish swim around. They just don't sit in one spot. You know what? When you're sitting there and you've caught three, he's caught two, and I ain't even got a bump. Tells you something wrong. Wrong bait, wrong. Got a very long incoming tide too, so that's gonna kind of affect it a little bit. Chat, you see, he comes over to my spot and your he spot finally gets bit. Side? <laughs> my side, sorry. I was gonna say, I'm six feet away. They're over here too. Makes me hurt his feelings. <laughs> Ooh. No, that's a piggy. Oh, it is. Mango, Mango pig, uh, red grouper. With a white bait. This one's going to. Oh, you want me to get that one? Yeah. Look at the hook. <laughs> Dang. I was on the slacker. 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 Should have just. Well, again, he was pulling pretty hard. Probably would have took a little more. But look at his face. It looks, he looks like he got rocked up. Oh, it's digging. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big hog. Somebody get the uh, get the net. Yeah, please. That is a nice one. Good job. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, sir. Rock shrimp. Yep. Yeah, Rock shrimp, baby. That's Todd's PB. That's a no. Nice you don't ever catch hogfish. <laughs> you don't think? Uh oh. Drag on this junk. No. <laughs> 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 nice one, Tom. Uh, of course it is. Nice one, bro. Just like I've shown you. <laughs> you hear that, Tom? What did he say? He fought it just like he showed you. <laughs> Oh, come on! What do you got? Oh. That might be that same guy. Look at his face. Wrong side, but... His, his face. face! Yep. The other one had the same looking face. You think it's a gag? Really? Bigger, not, look bigger in the water. He might. 
might keep. Yeah, I think he might keep. Yeah. Yeah, he puts these blades all over. Yeah. I'm glad they got him on the blue. Not on the jigsaw. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a foggy. Not the biggest tongue, but I'll mm -hmm. take it. Right hey, hey, that's yep. right in the box. You got baby. two sides. <laughs> you got two sides in the Oh, they're inviting you to dinner! Oh, come on, Todd! Folks, I'm using a slacker right now, and Chad's using, of course, a huggy because that's his favorite in the gold digger. Probably. Gold digger! Gold digger. Tony's got all the stuff on top of my digger. Rock. Tony, what do you do? What do you got? What are you using up there? Okay, Tony's using a white bait on what jig? A huggy? Yep. So we're all doing. Chad's caught a couple of fish free lining so I needed to get because that's my favorite way to fish I got my hog fish so I'm happy um, I gotta go get Chad's fish real quick <laughs> Ooh, boy, get up. Hey, hey, hey hey secret weapon <laughs> somebody mentioned the other day about your um, what are you doing, Tony? Yeah, the pocket fishing. Some good stuff. Get out of my, get out of my shrimp. Get out of my rock. <laughs> right, the rock stash. So somebody mentioned the other day. I was talking to him. They said, "Yeah, my favorite episode is the uh, pocket fisherman episode." I said, "Yeah, I, th I wish Chad would do more stuff like that." And then here you are. So what Chad is doing now? He's bringing out his jigging rod. rod. <laughs> the rod over. <laughs> oh lord. I'm pretty sure it's an ice jigging rod since it's nice cold out here. It's not ice cold out here. It was colder last time we came out. It looked ice cold. Should I go pinner or should I just go pinner? No, don't go pinner. Don't go pinner? No. For real? Yes. You'll never get that fish up. Hey, you don't know unless you try. True. What you said about the I didn't say that. Alright, here we go. I thought you were gonna catch him. Here we go. Your short arms, that looks like a full size rod. <laughs> 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 Todd, please blur out my finger. <laughs> I need to blink for other areas. Get him, boy. It's flexing. Yeah, that's... I know, it's flexing just with that. Flexing just with the jig on. I wouldn't take my fingers so, off the... Folks, if you don't, if you're not familiar with the um, slacker jig, it's like an eighth. We have an eighth and a six, or eighth and a thirty, three thirty seconds. Oh, got him! <laughs> no, no, no. Nope. That's just the jig. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm over here trying to be serious. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's that's right. That's right. That's You're gonna have to start reeling or something. <laughs> Did you get your bait? No? I'm going straight to Oh, okay. Straight to Tony? I'm running. Assume your position ah. at the net. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a while before I do this. I have to go 20 feet down to get them, but we're gonna go after them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you hook up, I'm gonna have time to get back there. <laughs> I don't know if you can say if. Yeah. I think it's when. Why wouldn't you eat this? They're not scared. Not scared. Not scared. Not scared. Oh, I know you're in trouble. Straight reel. You're in trouble. But there's no way to tighten the reel up on the. That's why I said you're going to have to hold on to it and squeeze it. This may be a bad idea. I told you it's a bad idea. Might be a bad idea. What if I beat Tony's 33? <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I was contemplating putting a boca on here. 
so that I at least have a reel. Yeah. You should have put, yeah, you should have put a... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh 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 we're on <laughs> oh oh no <laughs> we're on not we're good. on <laughs> not oh. good. his back one's on too <laughs> let me know when you think i'm gonna get ready to land that one is he rocked you i think he rocked me oh no i think he rocked me Time for the eight count. Eight Stand count. Stand an eight count. Give me eight. Whoa! Ooh, look at that mangrove. <laughs> Two. He got that thing. Oh, oh no, it's nice. right where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I was gonna say it looked like that didn't even have all the time in that one. Give me eight, Tony. Oh. Need eight. Oh, you're busy. Six. Bi Tony's busy oh, with that. Oh, it Oh, I wish I'd have got that one on this rod. Then I'd have had a chance. <laughs> I told you that this was a bad idea. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. What? Pull that thing up. <laughs> yeah. Pull that thing up. You gotta have confidence, Tony. You gotta find the ledge rig. I can't even. Tell That's you. what he has. Find the ledge rig. <laughs> Hook him up and let him run to the ledge. You know exactly where it's at. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Bad Come idea. on, Chad. You gotta, good idea. Catch, <laughs> you gotta catch one fish on it. I'm trying, but. Yeah, but you're using 10 feet. You're not gonna get a good oh, rub with that. Oh, that's thing. what you're saying. Okay. I got you. I was gonna say, Tony keeps catching drums. Oh, this might be. At least, least a porgy. At least a porgy. Nope. Grunt. I'm keeping that one if it's, if it's a grunt. Oh, it's a 40. 40. Also, you might have to go way above your head and reel to the water. <laughs> there you go. Got his well, Chad decided to go to a slacker on that, on his, on his jigging pole. <laughs> jigging pole. And I told him, I said, there's no way you're going to get a group of them. Yeah. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Did he really? Come it wasn't a sh it wasn't a shark. No. Well, yeah. Look at what. Look at the. Look at the, look at the uh, thing. Yeah. What you got? You want to tell the folks at home what you talk? He isn't talking. You ain't talking yet. much. I can't do all the talking. It's coming now. Got color. Ooh, there's a good one. There's a good one. <laughs> hey, oh. See if he's got a mangrove in his belly. What you got there, Todd? Is that shrimp? Yeah, it was on a slacker. You're not talking much. <laughs> That's this one's big brother. There's just not enough. Mm. Ain't got enough oomph. Got enough oomph on it. Got any oomph over there? Holy crap, I'm getting hot. Come on, let go. You let go. You let go. You let go. He ate it again. Let go. He ate it again. You let go. Woo, boy. 
boy, there's a lot of reeling for not much gaining. Every time I get a foot, he takes a foot. I'm going to get somebody to tag in here just to finish reeling it up. It's like 300 foot of water or what? Exhausted. I think I see. I thought I seen you not. Yep. Yep. There's the leader. We're leader. It's a sailfish. <laughs> no, look at this. You're gonna be shocked. Oh wow. Look at the mangroves. Oh my really? goodness. Yes. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding. No. <laughs> biggest one. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that's the biggest one we've caught in a while. Dude, that's a stud, man. Hey. Ice fishing, baby. I think the price just went up. <laughs> He'll need a little more special. All right. God bless America. So I, I decided to go to my big boy pole simply because I just get, kept getting hammered. So I'm still using a slacker, but what I do is I'll pull out three times. Our, our one time is three feet every time down. So I get to like 17 poles, so I'm about 61 feet. So then I start pulling it off by hand like this and I wait for that bite. And I just caught the biggest snapper I had on today. And I'm about to get bit again because I can feel him. Yep, there he goes. Another snapper. Ch I think Chad's on. Yep. Woo -hoo -hoo. This might rival Chad's. No, it's still smaller than Chad. But just like that, folks. Using an eight ounce slacker, 20 pound leader. Actually, I got 20 pound four carbon on this. Just dropping it down three poles, or three feet per pole. So I get to like, so we're sitting at 65 feet. So I get right, right below that. And as soon as I get to 61 feet, boom, they're on it. Tiger shark. There you go, Tony. Nice one. Getting in the game, baby. Put me in, coach. So I'm at 17 poles. Oh, oh, Tony could get a hoggy. We're a grunt. <laughs> I don't think that's a grunt. I just wait to feel that little thump, like just like there, right there. I hit it, and boom, on again. Another snapper. Not nearly the size of that last one, but still respectable. It's a good looking box rolling right now. As Tony puts in a porgy. This is a Mahara. If you don't know what a Mahara is, that's a Mahara. Big snapper like Mahara. So I'm going to drop it down and see what happens. Probably a grouper, but... I'm hooking them straight up through the lips like this. Let them go. Most of the time, these fish will swim down, so you don't have to worry about them staying up in the upper water column. Three, four, five... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twen
17. Now I know you guys hear me talk about uh, fishing before front and that's exactly what we're doing today is we've got this front coming in. It's going to be a pretty major front where the high for tomorrow is only 58 and there's a fish right there. That's not a snap. Oh! There you go. So anyway, what I was saying, what are y'all talking about that over there? Oh. So what, I, so what I was saying is if you can get out before a front, definitely do it because tomorrow is supposed to, it's supposed, the winds are supposed to pick up later this afternoon, but um, it's supposed to get really cold tomorrow, 58 for the high in the 30s for the low, Saturday and Sunday. But next week looks like it's going to be in the mid 80s, or not mid 80s, but high 70s, low 80s. So I knew these fish were gonna eat pretty good, especially with even with the slower tide, they're eating pretty good. What they like to eat during the winter. And we talk about that, especially inside the bay. If you want to target snapper, which you can, they like crustaceans during the winter time. So keep that in mind. If you want to go fishing for snapper, you want to use crustaceans this time of year. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a, um, overhand loop knot so I go through I have a loop I go through twist it twice around the main line then come back through the loop and tighten it down I love using that type of knot I don't know why it was from my bass fishing days using artificials get a hook in oh, there he's there <laughs> he's there <laughs> <laughs> you can't cheat and hand line them. I'm just trying to stop them. <laughs> oh, you got him? You got him, Chad. Oh my god. That was a tripping line. Come on, how did I miss that? You got him? Stay with him. Did he rock you? Oh, he get rocked on that little. Man, what do you mean helmet get rocked? Put some pressure on it. Put there. some pressure on it. <laughs> all the drag I got. Rick? No, that was on the pin. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Big old What was that movie? Tommy boy, fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> fat guy with a little pole. <laughs> right? Oh, Jesus. And folks, he honestly thinks he's going to get that fish out of there. <laughs> Did he just come on hook? Yeah, I think so. Wait. That's hilarious. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Are you for real? Are you for real? Come off, man. Yeah, I at least 
I didn't do nothing. <laughs> that was nothing. Nothing to see that. Well, folks, as you can see, the front is starting to come in. The bite has picked up again. We jumped around a couple of different spots, tried a couple of different areas, and we finally got on this one spot and um, didn't mark a lot of fish, but once we started fishing and started creating a ruckus down there, the fish started to show up on the screen. Caught some real nice mangroves. Chad thinks he just lost a, a nice hogfish. Lost some grouper, caught some grouper. But with this front coming in, this bite should go off because I think we're coming into a minor too, if I remember correctly. <laughs> there it is! Woo, look at the size of that one. Big old grunt. <laughs> now, to give Chad credit, as you saw earlier, he's caught the biggest snapper on the boat with that pole right there. <laughs> so folks, it can be done. It can be done. <laughs> My arms hurt just watching you do it. Well, folks, as you saw, it was a great trip fishing that pre-front coming in. The bite went off and we caught a ton of mangrove snapper. We caught some nice hogfish. We caught gag grouper, red grouper. So again, if you can get out before a front, I highly recommend doing that because the bite always goes off with that low pressure uh, coming in with the barometric pressure dropping. It's always a good bite when that's happening. As you saw, we Chad brought his little micro rod and we kind of all just chuckled and laughed and thought there's no way he's going to be able to catch any kind of fish on that thing, much less a 22 inch snapper, which was an unbelievable snapper. It was an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable fight. So it was, it was a lot of fun watching him. Uh, on our next episode, which I'm working on right now, we're actually gonna have a micro rod challenge and why not? If you can go out and put fish in the cooler and then turn around and go out and have some fun, bring some light tackle and have fun with it, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's fun, it's enjoyable, it makes everybody laugh, so we have a good time with it. And it was a lot of fun, so that was, that was a neat thing that Chad was able to accomplish with that 22-inch snapper. Uh, he, kept thought, he kept thinking it was getting eaten, and he kept going, he let it go, he let it go, and then he finally got it up, and it was just the snapper fighting that hard. So you can catch good fish on light tackle. He did lose a lot of grouper though. So <laughs> we can't say that he could catch a grouper with it, but he did get that snapper, which was really cool. Again, we just want to say thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. I am going to start fishing more inside the bay when I have a chance. As soon as this weather calms down a little bit, we're definitely going to do that. So thanks again for watching. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.